Hey, I finally upgraded my HP TouchMart laptop to Windows 7, and the awesome thing about Windows 7 is that it supports multi-touch features. I haven't had time to mess around and download a lot of programs, but I did download Microsoft TouchPack, which is the main thing that shows off the Microsoft, um, the Windows 7 multi-touch capability. So, before I show you the TouchPack, I want to show you two things, which is the on-screen keyboard and paint. And this is the on-screen keyboard. It's usually not this big. You can resize it, and it usually hides in the corner, so it's not going to block your screen. So instead of just having one touch, you can use more than one finger and use it like a regular keyboard. Yay! Cool keyboard, right? Uh, there's a lot of cooler stuff in here. Let's move on to paint. They really gave paint a makeover. They have more options, and I think they added more brushes. It's not going to replace Photoshop anytime soon, but it's a lot better than they had it last time. So let me paint the brush. The bigger one so you guys can see. So instead of painting with just one finger, you can paint with two fingers. You can paint with three fingers. Except the third finger recognition, as you can see, it glitches and it lags, and it can support up to four fingers, but after the second one, you know, the fourth one, it's very glitchy. Hopefully they update the driver soon, and I can download, and it'll have equal support for all four fingers. It's pretty, it's abstract art. Should I save it? Nah. Could be a masterpiece. I could sell it for a million dollars on eBay, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so on to the Microsoft Touch Pack. Let's see, which one do I want to show off first? Let's do the Microsoft Surface Collage. This is a desktop background creator. You take your photos and you arrange them in this surface, and it recognizes multi-touch gestures like pinching, making it big, take this, you can arrange, you can take your both of your fingers and arrange two photos at a time, and you could also change the background and add a frame to it, like that. And once you're satisfied with the layout, you can save it and make it as your desktop background, but that's not what I want to do, because I already have an awesome desktop background. And this is from the Korean drama, You're Beautiful. This is their main characters, and this is their band. It's a really funny drama. You should watch it. It's called You're Beautiful. Anyway, next one is Microsoft Surface Lagoon. This is a screensaver. And it looks like water, and there's fish that comes. And you can take your finger and just touch the screen and make water ripples. And you can take two fingers, make two swirls. Take four fingers, make four swirls. And I found that if you take your finger and you put it here and wait a while, the fish will come and try to nibble on your finger, which is cool to watch. Then you can scare them away. I guess it's something to do when you're bored, or you want to relax, you just want to touch the screen and pretend it's water. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Something to show off to your friends. Let's see. Next one. Next one is Garden Pond. This is similar to the one that I just showed you, except there's more of a point to it. Instead of just watching, um, touching the screen for no apparent reason, there's actually a point to this game. See? You're this little boat. And then you can play with two players, and then the other player is this other boat. And you touch the water and swirl it around, and you move your boat to try to get these little paper things. But don't touch the fire, because then your boat will burn, and then you end the game. See, my boat is burning because I touched that candle. Yeah, 
So I'm losing. Let's exit it out before it says game over. Wait, I, no, not that one. This door. Okay, on to the next. Next one is the Microsoft Rebound. This is my favorite game out of the whole touch pack. It kind of looks like Pong or tabletop hockey, um, air hockey. And we'll do human versus human. And there's the ball, and basically you have this, and then you have another player play on the other side. And since this is multi-touch, you both can touch the screen and play at the same time. And you try to score a goal and not let the other opponent put the ball, you know, on your goal. You get the point. Ah, I lose. It's not as much fun playing by yourself. But with a friend, it's really fun. Especially when you play it like this. And so it really looks like those tabletop games, like air hockey. Yeah. Anyway. That's the end of that. Last thing I want to show you that's in the Microsoft Touch Pack is where is it? It's Blackboard. This one you only use one finger. But this one is the game that requires the most thinking. Let's see which level do I wanna play? This one. The point of the game is to get this balloon to hit the light bulb. And you have all these different items that you can put, like right here. And if you don't put the items and arrange them correctly, then the ball will either hit one of these little spiky things and pop, or it'll get stuck. And then you'll have to start all over and rearrange them again. And that's it. That's all I found so far. Again, I haven't had time to download a lot of programs for it. The Touch Pack is the main program that I found that supports multi-touch. Hopefully, I'll have more games to show off soon. And I guess I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.